Welcome back everybody. Today I am reviewing a fragrance from the house of Atkinson's London. This is 24 Old Bond Street Triple Extract. Okay, so there was an original 24 Old Bond Street uh, and I believe that is a cologne concentrate, uh, you know, eau de cologne concentration. This one here is a cologne concentre, which is a bit, is a bit uh, vague about what that actually means. I would put this to mean that it's more of an eau de toilette concentration as opposed to an eau de cologne. So this uh, lasts like an eau de toilette. It projects like an eau de toilette. I don't, I don't find it has that that eau de cologne performance of a, of a few hours. So the triple concentrate, firstly, before I get into the notes, um, lasts pretty well on my skin, at least six hours. And I get, and I actually get a really, uh, quite a nice projection within a couple of feet of myself. So I have no, I have no trouble smelling this while I'm wearing it, particularly coming from under my shirt. So it's not one of those ones that I spray and then I can't smell uh, shortly afterwards. But let's get into the important stuff and how this smells. Okay, so uh, I've got a dry down going on this hand. I'm just going to spray the opening. A couple of sprays. It's a, actually quite a nice sprayer on these bottles. It is, it opens, the words that come to mind are a green, clean, uh, there, there is definitely, the, the green that I detect here is definitely reminds me of Juniper, which is a listed note, but the reason, the more the reason that it reminds me of Juniper, it has that kind of um, green astringency that reminds you of gin, uh, which is basically made from juniper berries. And I get that because there is there is this like underlying uh, slight booziness but it, it's it's funny because another booze note that's listed in this fragrance is whiskey and it's like there is a, a gin top with a whiskey whiskey base in the opening it's quite a, a unique kind of opening because even though it's boozy it's still very clean it still seems very very soapy and it's really strange because when I sprayed this earlier on on this arm for for the dry down I didn't pick this up as much uh, and I sprayed this in a room that was a bit warmer and in here it's, a, it's considerably cooler and I really pick up quite a lot of a tea note in here more more of a a black tea note which is which is really interesting for starters because I've I've worn the I actually wore this over, over a week and then today I've come back to it for for the review um, and it's not something I, I noticed but again I wasn't exactly smelling it closely this close to my to my nose I was more trying to get an impression of it uh, when I was wearing it but Definitely, I get differences depending on, on, I guess, the air temperature. So that's really interesting. And, and both openings are nice. Uh, there is nothing, there is nothing spicy about it, apart from, apart from that, I guess, that, that bite that you get from, from the green juniper. It, over a few minutes it starts to transition and and it stays green but then um, the floral heart comes through and what this is for me is a very <clears throat> a very pink note a pink rose stem and the rose is just barely budding I mean it's just barely opening so I, I get the impression of a really fresh very very um, juvenile rose which keeps it which again keeps it um, probably leaning more on the masculine side but 
you know, it's very, it's still completely wearable by both, by both genders. And from that, once, once the rose does come in, basically it's a very slow development and progression. Um, it tends to get a little bit sweeter. I find that as it eventually dries down, some very clean musks come into play and the slightest tinge of not even so much animalic, that, that slight mineral flavouring of, of ambergris um, comes in into the base. It's a lovely constructed fragrance. It's, it's very... If I had to summarise the whole thing from, from start to finish, it's, it's classy, clean, dignified fragrance. Uh, it's not overly complicated, but everything is blended really well and there, there is pleasing aspects throughout the whole development. I have spoken to a few people who have this fragrance and really enjoy it. And one interesting comparison that was made was that this is almost kind of like a uh, like a juvenile ombre nuit from from Dior, where everything in that fragrance is amplified and heavier. Here, it is much more refined, uh, cleaner, and a little bit on the light on the lighter side. Light doesn't mean lacking in performance, like I said, this lasts a considerable amount of time and it projects and yes, I, I have had um, a comment noticing my fragrance after wearing it for a few hours, in fact, and someone walking a few feet behind me, they commented on, on how nice my cologne was. So it is, I, I really enjoy this, this is a perfect uh, everyday wear, it's very versatile, um, you know, like if I had to allocate a season to it, it, to me it seems perfect, perfect for spring, summer evenings, but again, I'm wearing this in very cool weather, I can still smell it and, and it smells great. So that is pretty much my review of Atkinson's 24 Old Bond Street Triple Extract, it's now available in Australia. All the details about this bottle and, uh, and my review are in the description below and I hope you get to try it and let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching.